on three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Hi guys, this is Travis from Frontline Entertainment and today we will be reviewing the least expensive airsoft pistol we currently have in stock, the KJW Glock 23 with plastic slide. KJW pistols have been one of our best selling brand names because of their, both their price and their reliability. Alright guys, let's open it up and see what you get with the pistol. Alright, first thing you get is a product catalog. Basically it's all the other products that KJW sells. Um, it is in Chinese, but it does have the English translation there as well, so you can understand it. Uh, it does have pictures of all the products, which is probably the main thing, so you get an idea what they look like. And it does have all the main information, like ammo capacity, uh, what kind of propellant it uses, things like that. The other thing you get is the manual, of course. This manual is actually almost all in English. Now, there's not a whole lot of text in it, but it does have, do have pictures. It is fairly detailed, so you shouldn't have any trouble reading reading it or understanding what you need to do with the gun. The other thing you get with it is you do get a little pack of BBs. Now these are KJW BBs so they should work okay in the gun, but we recommend keeping these for a last resort and using a higher end BB such as the G&G BBs just because they are polished and they're going to work a lot better in the gun. And the last thing you get is, of course, the most important one, the pistol. Basically it's just wrapped clear plastic bag there. Uh, the gun is ready to go out of the box, you just need to fill the mag with green gas and BBs and you should be good to go. Alright, let's put all this aside and we'll get our actual display model. <clears throat> this pistol features the smoke polymer frame and solid black slide. A lot of people don't like having the plastic or the polymer parts on their airsoft guns. However, a lot of real firearms are made of the same material, and if it's good enough for a real firearm, it's going to work perfectly fine on an airsoft gun. You aren't going to have too much trouble with parts breaking or cracking off, anything like that. This pistol does feel very solid in your hands, and it does have a nice weight since the magazine is actually solid metal. Uh, the gun is just under 19 centimeters long and actually weighs just under 1.8 pounds. So it isn't cheap, it doesn't feel really cheap like some of the lower end pistols on the market. The Glock 23 is a gas blowback pistol and is powered by green gas. This means the gun will act and operate similar to a real pistol or firearm. The slide will actually blow back with each shot. And when the magazine's empty, the slide is actually going to lock back to let you know it's empty. I will actually go more in depth and show you how all this works when I test the gun out later in the video. The magazine of the gun actually holds 20 rounds, which is slightly higher than most pistols around the same size because the magazine is staggered so it isn't straight feed. Uh, we recommend using a 0.20 gram BB as you'll get a slightly higher velocity and it's ideal for CQB play in close quarter combat. Uh, other BBs will work, the heavier BBs will give you a slightly further distance but a lower velocity. And where does the sidearm, you're probably not going to use it at very far ranges. The next thing we're going to do is test out the pistol. We're going to test out how accurate it is as well as the velocity out of the box. Uh, first thing we need to do to get the magazine ready is charge it with green gas. Now there is a proper way to do this. Basically you want to take your can of green gas or propane. Uh, we recommend green gas. Propane is a little bit cheaper, but the green gas usually does have a lubricant in it which is going to help lube your gun so you don't have to do it separately. So the first thing you want to do is shake the can a little bit. You want to hold the mag upside down and then insert the fill adapter into the mag and press down for about three seconds and you want to do this two or three times. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Alright, so that mag should be fully charged and should be ready to go. The reason you want to do it in three to four second bursts and two or three bursts is just so you don't damage the mag by overfilling it or overpressurizing it. Some guns are different, so you always want to read the manual to make sure you don't actually damage your gun. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do, we're actually going to test out the gun, chronograph it, and then have special guest shooters for us. So we're going to be testing it with .020 BBs, which is pretty much the industry standard. Uh, let's give this a try. Not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, it's 252 feet a second. 
269. So the velocity is roughly between 250, 275, somewhere in that range. Now it is only about five degrees in where we're testing it right now. In the cold, green gas is gonna get a lower velocity as well as less shots. So on a warmer day, you're probably going to get probably an extra 10, 15 feet per second. All right guys, so now for a special guest. All right, guys, let's go see how Mr. Frontline did. All right, guys, as you can see, it's fairly accurate. Not bad grouping for about 60, 65 feet away. That's uh, a fairly accurate gun. All right, guys, well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Or if there's anything you'd like us to review, uh, just post and let us know.